Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here, and have I got a mega report to share with you, and one in which I beg you not to miss, because America is literally hanging by a thread, and that thread is either going to hang there, or we're gonna get cut, and it's only a matter of time before something happens, and I pray that that doesn't happen. I pray we hang on and we strengthen that rope, but that's where we're at. Earlier this year, I reported that former President Obama, even though he would be leaving the White House, that he would not be, well, he would be rearing his ugly head again. And that's exactly what happened. Obama didn't go quietly from the White House, and now he's managed to obtain a bunker just a few miles from the White House. You see, most people who leave from presidency kind of, you know, leave their successor and that's kind of it, but not former President Obama. Oh no, he goes and has his bunker just two miles from the White House. And in addition, he's managed to obtain an army of anti-Trump activists numbering over 30,000, 32,525 to be exact as it sits right now that he can use at his beck and call. This is an act and declaration of war against Donald Trump. And it's just a few miles from the White House. Check out this report from Infowars.com, which states, Sabotage. Obama is commanding an army of 30,000 anti-Trump activists from his home, just two miles from the White House. The report goes on to detail that Obama is using the organization called OFA.US, who boasts that they are mobilizing and training the next generation of progressive organizers and leaders. Let me just stop right there. Progressive is not the same as a Democrat. The Democratic Party has been taken over by the progressive party. There, there isn't a Democratic Party anymore. Uh, heck, the Republican Party's gone off the deep end. They both are. Okay, they're both gone. But the Democrats have become the new socialist party because that's what a progressive is. A progressive is a socialist. That's it. And that's the ticket that Miss Hillary Rodham Clinton ran on, the straight up progressive. If you know a Democrat person, let them know that progressive is not Democrat. They're different. They're socialists. And if we want to know what socialism looks like, just look to Venezuela, who all out in chaos, who has the rich class, poor class, rich class, poor class, one over the other, one ruling over the other. That is what socialism brings pretty much 100% of the time. And it always leads to communism. Wonderful. Pretty picture there, isn't it? I don't want socialism. I don't want communism. I know what that brings. I know what history shows. And here we have uh, uh, Obama, okay, activating an army to cause riots, to cause tension. Now, this boast of over 400, I believe it's 450 different uh, groups that they're using within his uh, battle here, his, his, his people, his passe, uh, that he uses to do this. But I think they've acquired over $40 million over uh, since 2013, and, and I'm sure that is going up. But look, let me just, let me just, well, before I get into that, let me show you this report by New York Post. It says how Obama is scheming to sabotage Donald Trump's presidency. Okay, Obama's not the only one scheming. We know George Soros is paying money to writers. Now Obama is paying money to writers. I think there's even talk of Hillary freaking Clinton running again in 2020. God, I hope not. Uh, and I say that with, no, I don't say it with respect. I don't respect her. I'm sorry. But needless to say, it's getting bad. And when I say that America is hanging by a thread, we literally are. Let me just be real with you for a minute. If something happens to Donald Trump, we're in deep shit. And I, and I excuse my French there, but I mean that. Let me tell you, I deal with censorship like no tomorrow. You get everything, threats, the whole nine yards. Uh, you want to know what that's like, and I know a lot of you do, then start sharing videos, start getting on YouTube, make your voice heard, put the truth out there, and they're going to do everything they can to silence you because that's the kind of people we're dealing with. That's why they're trying to silence Donald Trump right now. Heck, his main security officer is under the radar right now, and they're trying to take him out. 
because they want Donald Trump dead. And, and, and look, we have Brexit happening. We have stuff happening in the Netherlands even. Okay, there's a movement to get our countries back and get away from this new world order crap that we all know is bad. But it's getting worse. Now, since Donald Trump has gotten into presidency, censorship has gone out the radar. And that's not because that, that's because they see the impact that YouTubers like myself are having and they don't like it. Google uh, now has all these analytics that they're running, attempting to censor YouTubers like mine. So much though, so, that massive amount of truther channels have gone down and shrank in number because they're gonna do this slow boil thing till we're silenced, till we're quiet, and we can't allow that to happen. You can't allow that to happen. We need to get the truth out. You need to share it with everyone. Subscribe, create YouTube channels. Uh, hit that subscribe button on my channel you know, uh, open up a YouTube account because this might be the final way that you get truth out. But we see the censorship. Leftist organizations like Facebook and Google who have gone all the way on the left into battle mode are trying everything they can to censor my channel and other channels and push us under the radar. And Donald Trump can only do so much to stop it. He's not a miracle worker. He's not the savior of the world. He's only can do, he's one man and he could do what he can do from from up above, but we need to continue to get the truth out. And if they take him out, and I pray against that every day, I pray, uh, I pray for President Trump and I pray for his safety, I pray for our country, please keep our country in prayer as well. And as a Christian, I do that avidly. Uh, but if he goes and if something happens, God forbid, they're going to come after truthers. They're going to silence us. They're going to shut us down. Why? Because we sparked a movement. Why? Because we got uh, someone like Donald Trump into office and they never want that to happen again. If they get back up into power, we're in trouble. And let me just say this, it's not going to stop with YouTubers. It's not going to stop with truthers. It's going to boil on over into you and your freedoms are going to be limited. Your kids' freedoms are going to be limited and it's going to be going on and on and on and on. And I say that with all sincerity. We've read history. We know, you know exactly where this cookie lies and we cannot allow that to happen. We must continue to, to spark truth, encourage truth, open YouTube channels, start reporting what's really going down and stand with political candidates that are on our side because that's the way we uncrumble or put our puzzle back together again. And I honestly believe or I hope that Donald Trump does what he says he's going to do. And so far he has. But I know if somebody else gets in there, we're in hell over high water. So please make sure you keep our country in prayer. Keep our, our leaders, I guess, in prayer, the good ones, because there's corrupt and good on each and every side. And we just need to continue. Anyhow, I don't want to ramble, but as you can tell, I, 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 I'm dealing with a lot of, of censorship and um, from the left. And the left has pulled out their gloves and I'm gonna pull my gloves out back. And I'm gonna fight, fight for our freedom. I'm gonna fight for my children. I'm gonna fight for you and I'm gonna get truth out no matter where it lies. And I'm gonna stay with what I know to be true. And if it's not true, I will tell you that as well. Anyhow, wanted to bring you the latest on that. Please continue in the info war. Don't let those on the left progress over us. Don't let those on the left rule and have a say because that country that they're wanting to bring in is third world country. I've showed you in earlier reports how they want to make us third world. I showed you in earlier reports how they want to sabotage it all, how they want a poor mass. We don't need a poor mass at, with one class overhead. I don't want that. You don't want that. We don't want that. And we must make our voices heard. We must get truth out wherever it lies. And we must stop it and in its face and educate people. Anyhow, I uh, wanted to bring you the latest on that. I know I'm just kind of pouring out my heart and ranting a little bit, and I apologize for that. But there's so much more I want to say. And um, I'm not sure it's the right time, I guess, but I just have a heart. I, I love all you guys. And if you like what you heard here, please hit that subscribe button, open a YouTube channel so you can follow my channel because it might be the only way uh, that you'll be able to get the videos is if you're subscribed because they're uh, moving me on down the line on Google. So please make sure you do that. Anyhow, thanks again for tuning in. This is Lisa Haven signing out.